Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Many years ago, uh, I was visiting New York City. Uh, I went to Chinatown and uh, visit a, a commercial kitchen supply store. As I enter into the uh, store, I remember right up front, they have a wonderful display of woks. And there were woks of different sizes, uh, all the way from something like uh, 28 inches uh, to something as small as uh, 8 inches. I think this display uh, demonstrates the versatility of woks, that how uh, they could be used in many different types of situations. I have cooked in many different woks, and the smallest wok that I have ever cooked in is a 14 inch. And when I was a college student, uh, I worked as a cook in a Chinese restaurant for the summer. Uh, during the summer, I cooked in a very large wok. It's probably about 20 inches across. Uh, through that experience, I discovered that a wok is never too big. Because wok is completely scalable, uh, the shape of the wok allows you to cook a small amount of food uh, all the way to large amount of food uh, as long as uh, the stove is able to uh, provide the heat for the entire uh, bottom surface of the wok. It was very clear in restaurant cooking, uh, the bigger the wok, the better it is. It provides more flexibilities uh, because you can cook a small amount of food as well as cook a huge portion. What this means that you must have a stove that with a large opening and have plenty of firepower. And this is definitely not practical for the home kitchen. In home cooking for most Chinese family, a 14-inch wok probably is the most popular size. And now in this case, the wok serves many different functions. I remember when I was growing up, uh, we use the wok for everything. Uh, in addition to stir-fry, the wok is used for steaming, uh, for boiling noodles, and for deep-frying. Uh, in this case, you can see the wok is truly like the Swiss army knife uh, of the home kitchen. And so when my friend Rick told me that, uh, he bought a 9-inch cast iron wok. Uh, I could not understand why he would want to buy such a wok. And this doesn't seem to make sense to me at all. And then I start to look around. And I discover uh, actually there are many small walks on sale. Uh, for example, uh, there are walks that is about 10 and a half inch, walk that is about uh, 11 inch, like in this particular case. And uh, there are walks uh, about 12 inch, and just many, many different walks that are within this range. And for many years, I could not understand why anyone would want to buy a wok that is less than 14 inch. Uh, probably at the same time, people might uh, wonder why I need to buy a 14 inch wok rather than a smaller wok, uh, even though most of the time I do not cook uh, that amount of food uh, that would need a 14 inch wok. Okay, so let me uh, discuss a little bit why a 14-inch wok is a good choice. And then I will uh, discuss why smaller wok, uh, for some applications, they actually turn out to be a better selection. Well, first and foremost is that uh, because wok has a bow shape, and the bottom of the wok is always uh, a taper to a either a, a flat shape or a round shape. Uh, this means that uh, whatever you cook is scalable, uh, you can cook a small amount of food uh, in a large wok because of this particular characteristics. And based on this uh, observation, a large wok definitely is more flexible uh, in its ability to cook small as well as a large amount of food. Uh, another advantage is that a large wok uh, will be less likely for the food to spill out of the wok when you stir the content. Another advantage of a large wok is that there will be less spattering. When you have a small wok, you will have more spattering over your stove. I have a 14-inch as well as a 15-inch wok, and I find that when I cook with the 15-inch wok, my spattering on the stove is reduced by as much as 70%. 
And so when I cook with a large wok, which I really enjoy, uh, is that uh, it's a little bit easier to clean up afterward. Now there's a regional difference of uh, different type of wok size. Uh, like in southern part of China, particularly in the province of Guangzhou, uh, they use large woks, and this type of woks frequently referred to as the Cantonese rock. And now, uh, in this type of uh, cooking situation, uh, people use the woks for almost everything. Uh, they use the woks uh, for steaming. They can put a relatively large steamer over the wok. Uh, the wok can be used for boiling water, uh, in this case to make uh, noodles or uh, make uh, one ton. And without any question, uh, the large wok is more versatile. Uh, so why would you want a small wok? And so one day I was talking to my friend Ken Li, and he uh, has been a cook uh, in Chinese restaurants. He explained to me that a small wok is much easier uh, for tossing food. Uh, here's an example of how people use a small wok uh, to toss the food rather than stir the food. Uh, he said this technique originated uh, from northern part of China, uh, where cooks use wok usually about the size of a 12-inch uh, frying pan. Uh, this makes the wok light enough that you can easily uh, toss the food in the wok. Uh, this method actually provides an alternative to stirring, and in fact, it probably moves the food faster than stirring. Uh, using this method, it will allow you uh, to cook under very high heat. And in this case, a 12 to 13 inch carbon steel wok uh, makes it quite feasible uh, to toss food. A 14 inch wok definitely uh, will become too heavy. Now, all this makes a lot of sense uh, that you will have a wok about 12 inch if you're going to uh, cook in a situation that you want to toss your food. But would you need a wok that size in your home kitchen? That is a very good question. Now, I have friends who told me that they choose a 12 inch wok because they said, I'm not going to cook that much. I'm going to only cook for uh, two person. And when I told Ken Lee about this, and he said to me, that is totally erroneous. Uh, the whole idea that most people buy a smaller wok uh, is translated from frying pans. Uh, people will use a small frying pan, such as a 9-inch frying pan, uh, to make omelets or to fry an egg. And they will use a larger frying pan, uh, for example, uh, to saute some onion. And if they want to pan fry some chicken or uh, salmon, uh, then they will go to even a larger frying pan. And so people have the uh, perception that uh, if I'm not going to stir fry very much, then I should use a small wok. Uh, this will be a similar concept when you choose a small frying pan uh, if you're only going to fry a small amount of food. However, woks are completely scalable in amount of food that they cook because of its bowl shape. Uh, you can cook for one person in a 14-inch wok, and you can cook for five people also uh, in a 14-inch wok. A larger wok will give you greater flexibility in the amount of food that you are going to cook. Uh, with a large wok, they are less likely for you to spill food ingredients out of the wok during stirring. And of course, if you want to use the wok to boil noodles or for steaming or for deep frying, you have more real estate uh, to carry out this type of uh, cooking. And the only reason you probably want to have a smaller wok, such as a 12-inch wok, is if you are planning to toss your food. But tossing food might not be a uh, good uh, thing to do. Uh, you might end up with a lot of food on your kitchen floor. And so the conclusion is that uh, you have to make a decision what you want to use the wok for. And my friend Rick told me that when he bought his 9-inch uh, large cast iron wok, and he thought it was very cute. Uh, however, he quickly discovered uh, this is not a practical wok to cook in. Uh, but it still uh, have a good purpose because now uh, he has put plants in this wok and it is sitting on his kitchen windowsill. 
In many ways, it doesn't matter what size that you choose, as long as you are happy with it. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. If you want to learn more about my fast cooking system, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.